appalling light. Appalling light, Aka the Dog Meadow Light, is a single, bright, unexplained light that has appeared in a valley near Paulding, my, since the 1960s. Some have it explained it away via ghost stories. In the most popular version, a railroad worker perished when trying to use a lantern to alert an oncoming train to cars stopped on the tracks. Others attribute the light to extraterrestrials. A group of Michigan Tech students in 2010 gave a more reasonable explanation. They said they were able to recreate the light if a car with its headlights on was driven along a specific spot on US 45. The Lake Michigan Triangle Some say that Michigan has its own version of the Bermuda Triangle. The Midwest version is located in the center of Ludington, Benton Harbor, and Manitowoc. Why? Common creepy occurrences here include shipwrecks, UFO sightings, and missing planes. The disappearance of Captain George Donner of the O. McFarland is one of the spookier tales from the Triangle. Supposedly, in 1937, the freighter was within the Triangle when Donner disappeared from his cabin. The cabin was locked from the inside. He was never found aboard the ship, and no one could ever figure out where he'd gone. Another tragedy occurred in 1950, when Northwest Flight 2501 disappeared over the Triangle while traveling from New York to Seattle. The fact the plane dropped into Lake Michigan is undisputed, but the plane itself was never found. The Melon Heads the melon heads exist as legend in more than one place, but tales of their presence sprout up throughout Michigan, especially in the Holland slash Sauvetuck region. Origin stories vary, but many talk about a hospital treating children with hydrosphalus, a condition that causes water on the brain and can lead to an enlarged skull. The melon heads appear as small figures, the size of children with large, round heads. In some stories, the hospital shut down, leaving the children with nowhere to go, so they began living in the woods. In other stories, the doctor mistreated the children and they ran away slaying the doctor beforehand in some versions and took up residence in the forest. Whichever version you adhere to, the end result is melonhead children and their descendants wandering throughout woodland in western Michigan. Teens that grew up in this area in the 1960s and 70s frequently claimed to have spotted melonheads in the woods. Mackinac Island's Drowning Pool Mackinac Island, located in northern Michigan, is a small island that's a major tourist destination throughout the state and Midwest in general. It's also home to the mysterious drowning pool urban legend. According to the story, throughout the 1700s and 1800s, seven women were accused of witchcraft and taken to a Mackinac Island lagoon for a test. The women then had rocks tied to their feet and were tossed into the waters. If the women were witches, According to local superstition, they could save themselves from drowning. You can still visit the lagoon where the trials allegedly occurred. Visitors report seeing phantom figures, as well as unusual and random splashing in the water. Madame Majesca Madame Majesca Ghost in the Michigan Bell Telephone Company A Ghost in the Michigan Bell Telephone Company The Michigan Dogman The Michigan Dogman The Name Rouge The Name Rouge Hey 
guys thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and i look forward to see you in the next video then take care bye